In this example, we are going to look at the past year question about resistive forces and power output of a car. First, you are asked to define power. So think of power from the equation. Normally, we will take energy over time, but actually it is rate of work done. Okay. And normally in physics, uh, we are taking the easy way out by using ratio for rate. But I hope you understand that rate, rate and ratio is not the same thing. Uh. Okay. So it's good to get your terms right early on in your physics study. All right. 3B. This one is a car traveling at 22 meters per second on a horizontal road. Okay. The car has a mass of 1,005 kg. The resistive forces is 1,200 newton acting on the car. Maybe air resistance, maybe friction between the tire and the road. You are asked to calculate the force required from the car to produce an acceleration of 0 0.82 meter per second. So how much force do I need to push the car forward? Ah, let's see. So the engine here is going to push the car forward like that. Okay, and we need this acceleration. So whenever there's the idea of mass and acceleration, you could think about your Newton's second law, net force, and since the mass of the car is constant, MA. All right, so what are the forces acting on the car? You have your forward-facing uh, force of the engine, and you also have these uh, backward resistive forces pushing back. Okay, so resistive force pushing back, and I will now take F minus 1, 2, 0, 0. Because I will take this direction to the right as positive and to the left as negative. All right. So 1, F minus 1, 2, 0, 0. MA, the mass is 1, 5, 0, 0. And we want it to accelerate at 0 0.82 meter per second. So if we press our calculator, this should give us an answer of 2430. So if you want, you can write it in 2SF, 2400. Right, three marks. Let's look at the marks. Okay, one mark, if you find the net force correctly, okay, you write something like net force is equal to MA, something like this. Okay. The other mark is when you substitute everything correctly. 1002, this one, this one. One mark. And then the final mark is the answer. All right. C1, C1, A1. Now part two, power required to produce the acceleration. So this power uh, is from the engine. Okay. And this uh, car engine is going to produce an acceleration of 0 0.82 in this context while the car is traveling at 22 meter per second at that point in time. Okay, so you could think about power P as equal to FB. Okay, so some of you may be thinking, Miss, is there a conservation, I mean, is there a conversion of energy? Yes, there is. Okay, so we'll talk about that a bit later. But right now, if you want to use P equal to FB, you can. Just make sure you don't simply go and take 1,000 to uh, different, different forces. This F must be the force of the engine. Okay. Now, force required from the car engine. Car engine. And we can substitute the 2400. Zero, zero. Or you could put 2430. Okay, I'll put 2430. Times the speed 22. This will give you 53500. Or 2SF53000. What? This is what is expected. We will use FV. And then you can substitute leading to the final answer. Okay, so, a uh, slight calculator error. This is 53460. Sorry about that. So if you want to round to 3SF, you can write 53500 or 2SF 53500. Okay. Cannot write 54, 
zero 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 ah. Uh. Okay ah. Uh. So yeah. All right, that's it. Part C. Oh, by the way, um, if you want to think about conservation of energy, right? It is work done by the engine, petrol, chemical energy. Okay, not hundred percent efficient. But some of it goes to the change in kinetic energy, okay? And some of it goes to work done against friction or resistive forces, okay? So you may be thinking, can I not use this equation? I mean, this is a resistive force. Can I not use this equation uh, to find power? You can, but you have a lot of work. So I definitely know the work done by the engine because I can find using FP. But you see, if I want to find a change in KE, I need to know some initial and final speed. I also don't have an, any information about how far the car is traveling. So that one also I need to find, which is a bit hard. Okay. And also, at the same time, there is a slight constraint here. Do you think the car will keep the acceleration of 0 0.82? Currently, it's 0 0.82. But what happens when the car moves faster? the resistive force will increase. This is the last part of the question, part C. The resistive force on the car is proportional to V squared, where V is the speed of the car. So just why the car has a maximum speed? Well, this is because your car engine has a maximum power, maximum force, right? So put that, put that down first. Car engine, the car itself, has a maximum power. and maximum force produced. So if you have maximum power and maximum force, this is until, so you can say as the car accelerates, V increases, speed of the car increases, hence R increases, the resistive force increases. until the resistive force R is equal to car engine force F. Then all the power produced by the car is wasted to overcome friction. wasted as heat to overcome friction. So if you think about this uh, particular energy flow diagram, this one here, currently there's some percentage to kinetic energy, there's some percentage to work done against friction. But as you travel faster and faster, this friction will take more and more energy until one fine day, the force of the engine is equal to the friction, not one fine day, la, until the car is fast enough. So when that car is fast enough and the force of the engine is equal to friction, net force zero will not accelerate speed maximum. Or all power produced by the car is wasted to overcome friction, meaning your KE is constant. This is maximum speed. Well, I miss so much to write for one mark. La. No, la, I write the full explanation so you understand. But the key word here to mention is just there is a the car has a maximum power. I'm going to highlight this. Okay. And um, your when your R is equal to F, this maximum power, a maximum force, F. So just mention something along the line where the car engine has a maximum power and there is a maximum force, R equal to F. Hence, there is no acceleration. So until R equal to F and no acceleration and no G. Okay, so you can write this. So this is where the mark is. Or you could also say power produced by the car wasted to overcome friction. 
So you can either write this one, the green color highlight, maximum power, until the resistance is equal to the power force of the engine, then there's no acceleration. Or you could say all oh, the power loss now become heat, no Ke change. All right, so this one is another option, one mark. Okay, that's it for this question. Remember, when you use P equal to FV, it's always a shortcut, especially it depends on the information is given by the question. Especially like this kind of question where you don't really have any information about how far the car travels or even if the uh, acceleration of the car is constant. This acceleration is only the acceleration of the car at this particular time. As the car travels faster, this 1200 zero zero will increase. This makes the acceleration decrease. All right. So this is an instantaneous power. Okay, that's it for this question. I'll see you in the next video. Take care now. Bye-bye.